lovelies. So today I am going to do a quick first impression of the Buxom Mascara Bar that I showed you guys in a haul. I don't know when. Um, but I just am really excited to use this. Um, the way they do this is I think it's the same formula for all of them. But it's a different wand and there's like a different use for each of them. Like curl and contour, lush and lifted, strong and long. Full and fabulous, big and bushy, thick and defined, and itty bitty, which I'm guessing is for like down here and to get like small ones. Um, I got the show off black, and mine is in full and fabulous. So I went ahead and slightly curled this side and I left this one straight. My eyelashes are very long but they actually stick straight out so I was like uh, if this doesn't like curl at all I don't know if y'all will be able to see it uh, but yeah so I went and like curled this one slightly so you guys will be able to see it and then I just did like tiny amounts of makeup behind it so you guys can really see my lashes. I usually get uh, mascara like everywhere so um, the thing I wanted to show you is it is like a gelish type wand and it is extremely flexible. I don't know if that matters to you guys. I also noticed when pulling it in and out that it has a really good uh, clean off system. It's very tight and it seems to do a really good job of getting it like declumped. What you are seeing on the ends there like are little... Um, they're like little balls. It almost looks like a brush, like how a brush has like stuff on the end of it. So I'm kind of like a little bit nervous to do this. <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, I forgot my... to look in my mirror. Duh. I usually get mascara like literally everywhere. So it's not really... It definitely, okay, so usually I use two mascaras. The first one I use is a Define a Lash. And it really does a good job of separating my eyelashes. And even though this is doing a good job, this is because I've, I've curled them already. So they're kind of like in a fan shape. But it really is just like, painting on them so I can see how this is the full and fabulous because it's definitely doing its job it's making them look full and fabulous but it's not like very good for grabbing and brushing but it, I have to say it's not like clumping up I have really full thick lashes so um so that's the one eye. I hope you guys can see because I'm using natural lighting and I can't see my camera. So so this is without and this is with. I'm kind of really nervous to do my bottom lashes, but let's give it a try for reviewing sake. I have to like really concentrate, guys. I have a lash that is like turned around and sticking in my eye. Don't you hate that? So it is a little bit more difficult to do the bottom lashes, but I did them just fine. See, I don't know if you guys can see, see how they're like very fanned out. This next side is not gonna do well because it really doesn't curl at all. Like it just did my lashes. So this side is going to be like, whoosh, like straight out. But I think that's a pretty huge difference. I don't see like it's not spidery or clumpy. I think it looks really pretty. But I definitely, if you have curly lashes, that this would be great. And if you have a curling wand. <laughs> uh, if you have sticky outy straight lashes like I do. So, okay, let's go for this side. The non curled side, yeah, it's. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. I'm going to have to tilt my head back. You guys are going to be like, whoa, what a difference curling your eyelashes makes. I don't get into a whole bunch of like 
techniques and whatnot, but <laughs> I just try to like brush through. So maybe that's why it's not clumping as much. It does remind me of a brush, the wand does. I was like, oh my gosh, am I even filming? I don't even know. My sister-in-law is here and she just got here. So I'm really excited. We're gonna get our nails done, which I'm so excited about because Nobody ever wants to get their nails done, and she does, so yay, because usually she gets them done before she comes, but she's been crazy with work, and she has this week off, so she's coming to visit, and we're going to see Mark and Jay, part one. That's going to be the only disappointing part, because that book was actually uh, one of the ones that I didn't uh, read through a million times, because there is a really slow part in it, but it actually is one of my favorite of the trilogy. It goes first book, third book, second book for me. Oh, I'm making this worse. Sorry, I have to concentrate. Yeah, you can definitely do too much of this, that's for sure. Um, okay, so this is, okay, guys, welcome to my eyelashes. So this one I had to brush a ton more and it didn't even, it's not as beautiful as this one. But, uh, uh, how do I show you guys this? I'm not, I've never even done this. I just opened my eyes really wide. That's a great idea. What am I doing? Uh, you guys take a look for yourselves. And look at my bushy eyebrows while you're at it. So this side is really good looking. This side... You know, it got, it got a little, because I had to like really press a lot more to separate them out and not have them clump because I hadn't brushed them already. I'm like already trying to curl them with my finger. <laughs> um, and I got, you know, a bit heavy handed with it. I'm just trying to curl them a little bit so you guys can see them. But they're very soft they're a little bit sticky to touch but they dry super fast like I only got like a tiny bit um, and they're uh, quite flexible so if you're one of those people that you know curls before and after and does coats and then after again uh, I think you would like this it doesn't seem like it would be very flaky but I will let you guys know um, I'm not gonna check back in unless I get home like early no, I'm going to put this up. Um, but I'll let you guys know on like Twitter or my Instagram and let you know if it had like flaking. But I really don't think it's going to. It would be a really good idea if I did the underneath of this lash. I'm sorry, that's just like driving me nuts. I'm not one of those people that like if I do my makeup, I have to do my bottom lashes. Or else I feel like an alien. I'm fine if I don't have makeup on, but... See, I can't get, I'm just going to make it clumpy if I keep going at it. So, as you guys can see, the bottom lashes came out fine, but I do have longer um, lashes. I have pretty easy bottom lashes, but you guys can have a look, see, see how this got clumpy because I went over it again. So yeah, I definitely am like, I usually do a couple coats of mascara, but this is not one that I would do that with. I feel like it would get pretty clumpy, but the full and fabulous, if you want that spider look, spider eyelash look, you're good to go. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. I'm sitting at X double O's, and as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!